Aloha, and welcome to Walk Story. I'm Chino LaForge from Maui Times. I'm here today with Yuki Lei. She's running for Maui Council Upcountry. Yuki, let's walk story. Yeah. I love this, by the way. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I was hoping you would do this again. Of course. It's yeah. a great way to find out about you and get a little yeah. uh, fitness walk in, too. Now, and I always say that this is a perfect place to start because this is exactly where I was born. Oh, wonderful. Born and raised on Maui and in Wailuku Town. And this used to be the hub of the business community when I was growing up. A busy place. So it's nice to see it kind of coming back. Um, as you can see now with, you know, um, the different stores. It's very different from when I was growing up. It used to be the store or different national dollar was the buildings are still here because they're all historic buildings but it used to be where everybody did their shopping you know you can do your laundry here we could buy music although it wasn't quite the store but still <laughs> um, everything could be done and banking you know it's very similar to get your hair done at Stephanie's that was here mm -hmm. but um, anyway born and raised on Maui and um, I love this town as you know I did help produce Wailuku First Friday, and the, all the Friday town parties uh, were modeled after it. It's one of the um, things that when I talk to people, if I mention it, most people have, you know, attended it, and it's, you know, free, and it was provided a way of community coming together. Um, and it really kind of is what I've done throughout my career, which is um, bring people together and create um, events and opportunities that share either in culture, tra tradition, and um, high day, and um, provide provide people to come together, right? So for Wailuku Town, it was really important because it was to help with the revitalization of the town. And I will tell you that I worked on this town since um, 1999, um, where we did Market Street improvement, we did restoration of EL Theater, um, and a lot of the events and um, things that happened during the time uh, when Mayor um, Kimo Apara was mayor, I worked in the Office of Economic Development. So I um, helped create a lot of activities to bring a lot of activity here. And I took that same model and worked with all small towns, um, Makawao and you know different areas on the islands. But I'm a convener. So I do the same thing. I'm a county council member and um, the work that I do, I have the Infrastructure Transportation Committee, and everybody asks me, oh, what are your priorities, you know? And I say, like everybody, <clears throat> affordable housing is really important, but I truly believe that the work that my committee does lays the foundation so you can have an affordable home. So my work is very important um, to build roads, wastewater reclamation facility. Um, there's another project I'm working on with my department as well as um, we're also, transportation is important, right? To get people to maybe out of cars. So the bus system is one of the committees that um, is my kuleana too. So we're working on the, um, we're building a new bus hub. It's right across Sears, the old Sears, that construction that's going on is where the bus hub is. And we're to move out of, right now everybody goes to Queen Kahumanu, and that's where all the mm -hmm. transfers happen. Um, we're moving out of that and, and we're getting um, that new bus hub will be built towards the end of the year. And um, of course our goal is to electrify our bus system so we can get off fossil fuel as well as um, um, to provide more buses so that more people would ride, right? To make it convenient. Um, and roads, I'm the chair of the Maui Metropolitan Planning Organization and it is the organization that brings communication or brings communities together, um, opinions to collect what the community wants. And then from there, we decide what federal funding um, to allow. No, no, no. It's okay. Um, so what federal funding is available so that we can help build our roads. So they help, our organization is um, goes out and talks to the community by you know social media or having meetings or joining meetings and then we find out what the community wants in terms of roads and for roads that would qualify for federal funds then that is the um, infrastructure that brings in the funding to build roads so I have a really exciting um, committee that I love and um, I think that it basically provides a lot of the foundation and the needs. Every time there's a project, everybody goes, what about transportation? What about 
uh, roads and what about you know this and that and I think a lot of that falls in my committee mm -hmm. so I'm very fortunate well, I will tell you something I helped build this bathroom when I was working with uh, Mayor Kimo Apana this was <coughs> this was supposed to be a, a mini police uh, center uh -huh. but it didn't work out but um, the bathroom I built Wonderful. for the community when I was working on Wailuku um, the vision was we needed a bathroom so I said okay I'll build a bathroom and then um, the other thing was that we needed the municipal parking lot so that idea um, was floated for many many um, um, years and then you know look at it today right so it's happening the most important thing about the um, municipal parking lot is that we we, re we redid all the old infrastructure under the roads that was there from plantation days so that's how long it was around but wow. yeah so well you can we pretty much made it to our landing oh, spot we're here done? Cool. Uh, i'd like to call that interview but you you pretty much took command oh. of that. that was, thank you so much oh, for your yeah, time. No, thank you. You're thank making you. my job easy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Talk too much. And thank you, folks. Don't forget to get out there and vote. Yeah. Aloha. Yes, yes. Please vote.